President Obama is going to a border state this week, but not to see the situation firsthand. There have been a lot of calls for that. He will be attending a fundraiser for the midterm elections while he is there. Fox News Chief White House Correspondent Ed Henry in the briefing room tonight with more. Good evening, Martha. Breaking news tonight as the Associated Press is reporting that under pressure from liberals, President Obama is backing down on his promise to seek expanded legal authority to more quickly deport children who arrive here in the United States illegally. Now, I just spoke to a top White House official who is pushing back, insisting to me that the president sent a letter days ago to congressional leaders in both parties saying he'll seek this expanded power. They say he's sticking with that. Uh, but we should note that uh, it was just yesterday on NBC's Meet the Press that the president's own Homeland Security Secretary, Jay Johnson, was pretty wishy-washy about the current immigration laws on the books. Uh, I pressed Josh Ernest, the White House press secretary today, on why repeatedly, when asked directly whether he'll enforce the current laws on the books, Jay Johnson would answer. What are those additional options? Is he enforcing the law or just looking for other options? When he's talking about additional options, he's talking about more efficiently processing them through the system. As I pointed out, that once they go through the immigration system, it is our view that it's unlikely that most of those kids will qualify for humanitarian relief. If they don't qualify for that humanitarian relief and don't have a legal basis for remaining in this country, they will be sent back. Nobody should make any mistake about it. Now, the president will be in Texas this week, Wednesday and Thursday, doing some fundraising, but he's under pressure now, not just from Republicans, but Democrats as well, to go visit the border for himself. Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar of Texas saying he thinks the president should get an up-close look at the crisis. He also was very critical of the president, saying he should have seen this crisis coming much sooner, should have done more uh, to deal with it. Uh, Josh Earn has pushed back on all of that uh, and said the president has no plans to visit the border because he's been briefed by top aides fully abreast of the situation and Ernest insists they're not concerned at all about the optics of the president fundraising nearby but not going to the border. Martha? Well there's uh, been times before where they weren't concerned about the optics of these sorts of situations uh, when pressed to be hands-on in some of these uh, different stories. Mark Thiessen joins me now, former presidential speechwriter and an Enterpri American Enterprise Institute fellow. Mark, good evening. Good to have you here. Good evening, Martha. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, it, I mean, the big question is, what is the president thinking on this issue? What is yeah, he it, planning to do? It, everybody's trying to figure that out. It's, it's a mystery, quite frankly. I mean, look, it looks terrible for the president to go to the state of Texas for a fundraiser but not go to the border. But the problem isn't that he's not going to the border. The problem is that he doesn't have a plan to deal with the crisis at the border. I mean, this, this is, if you show up at the border and don't announce a plan, that's worse than not showing up. So the big problem isn't that he's not going to the border. The big problem is that nobody knows what he's going to do to solve this crisis. I mean, when you look at this situation, and Josh Ernest sent the message that a lot of these kids are going to be deported. Now, we all know that's going to be a very lengthy bureaucratic process. And in the meantime, you've got kids sleeping on the floor, you know, with, with Red Cross, uh, you know, paper blankets over them. And there seems to be no, no impetus to do something, to get your hands around the problem. The president, you know, appears to be somewhat neglectful or has been somewhat neglectful because this, this has been coming for some time. And he caused this crisis. I mean, look, a new poll go out shows that nearly 60 percent of Americans think that President Obama is personally responsible for this crisis at the border. And they're right. He issued an executive order on the deportation of, uh, of unaccompanied minors that basically said that if you're here illegally, we'll delay your deportation. That sent a signal throughout the hemisphere that if you, that if you get here, you're going to get to stay. So tens of thousands of people have come. And now he doesn't seem to have a plan for what to do with them. You can, apparently, last week he told Congress that he's going to seek this authority to send people back to Central America the same way we do uh, with uh, with Mexico. Now the Associated Press is reporting that that's not the case uh, and that he's backing off of that under pressure from liberal groups. If that's true, that's a really dr troubling scenario because what that means is he cares more about appeasing liberal immigration groups before a midterm election than he does about getting control of our border. And it's, it sort of speaks to a larger issue that he's being criticized uh, about, you know, across the board. Does he have a plan? Does he take action, whether it's in Iraq or whether it's with health care or whether it's with the IRS? Uh, you know, the list goes on, Mark. And, and it's, it's really across the board on the, the Sunday programs, all over the networks. Everybody's asking the same question. Does he care? Is he neglecting his duty? 
Yeah, I mean, his presidency is really engulfed in crises in three areas. He's engulfed in crisis abroad, he's involved in crisis at home, and he's involved in crisis at the border. I don't know where else you could have a crisis. I mean, the, you have the VA scandal, you have the press scandal and the implosion of the emails at home, you've got the Obamacare problems that are happening uh, you, abroad, you've got Iraq imploding and the rise of ISIS, and you've got this border crisis. And he doesn't seem to have a handle on any of these things. And again, the polls show that Americans hold him responsible for all these, all these problems. So, you know, going to the border and having, and having a press conference and sort of showing he cares is not going to solve it. He's got to get, these are real problems. You're not going to change public opinion until you change the conditions on the ground, whether it comes to Iraq, whether it comes to, uh, to these scandals that are engulfing, yeah. or whether it comes to this border crisis we're I mean, having today. Part of, uh, obviously, a big part of being president is crisis management. You know, when, yeah. when something happens, you have to act. And, and I think that is where, you know, you look at the polls. I mean, this isn't my opinion. I mean, look across these polls that we've been watching all throughout the last several weeks. People feel that he is not, that there's a lack of confidence in the White House. And Peggy Noonan pointed out in an editorial over the weekend, you know, in her opinion, it doesn't appear that he's bothered by that. Yeah, no, I, th I think she's probably right. And if you look at it, a uh, Gallup poll uh, confidence in the presidency has dropped from 51 percent when he took office to 29 percent. A majority, 54 percent of Americans say that he is not up to the job of governing this country. A, a Quinnipiac poll, worst president since World War II. I mean, people feel that this president is not engaged, that he, not only that he's not solving the problems, they believe he's causing the problems. Majority of Americans think that he, that he caused the crisis in Iraq. Majority of Americans think he caused the crisis at the border. So it's not just even that he's not solving the problems, that he's causing these problems that we're facing right now. Well, we're going to talk about that more coming up. Mark, thank you very much. Good to see